What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Bavaria. And so to pick up where we left off, uh, we got quite roundly smacked by the, uh, the Hanoverians who just managed to hold on for long enough for our forces to be pushed back. Um, what really did us in, I think, was the enemy cavalry. So even though it's not very good cavalry, it's, it's still cavalry. So what I want to do is I want to get, I will want to get my school to research square formation. Ideally I want to try and sprint down to fire by rank, but I want to go for square formation. To try and counter the cavalry. And what I also want to do is, really I need to uh, build a, a proper army. Really, I've got too many militia. So let's take, it's got three types of militia unit. Got the Landwehr militia, regular militia, and this other uniformed militia who are eh, they're much of a muchness so what I might do is I might pull some of my weakest militia units let's pull them back to Munich for replenishment to be honest maybe uh, maybe hmm. to be honest I th eh. so I think I could probably stand to take two more units of militia away. Spend the capital I've got next turn to start to build. First, we'll do whatever replenishment we can. Keep this militia and artillery up to Dresden. Because they're. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Do I want more militia up here? No, I won't. Relying on militia in that last action was really quite. It wasn't great. So I think I might actually move the guns up. Made the militia go back to Bavaria because I don't, I don't really want the militia. That that action, particularly with the pikemen, were equal hmm. with the pikemen and the cavalry. I don't think militia is the way to do this. I think we need to kind of accept the fact that we got smacked. Take a bit of a breath, spend a few turns regrouping till we get square formation. Because three turns, you can get a lot of units in three turns. Well, soon. Um, and I think that's going to be the way to go. Build up a, more of a professional army here. Because when we fight, we're going to fight against Hanover and Berlin. Or, I wonder if, let's see if Hanover, because they're indifferent to us. So if I offer you my entire treasury, peace and trade... Damn. I'll try to see if we can buy them off next turn. Or maybe give them a... A national gift and try and get them off our back. Because that was really quite devastating, really, that they got involved. So I think the idea is... To build an army, take Berlin, be ready to push east. Keep those militia as kind of a reserve. I don't really anticipate using them, but I'm a bit... Yeah, I want to have a proper army fighting on my side up front at the pointy end of the battle anyway. So, yeah, the pirates are going to do their pirating. Got a rake in Bavaria again. So let's take you and start to push up towards Königsberg. Just get these guys. Oh, the artillery is moving on to Dresden. My other militia that's not in great shape. Just get back to the capital. So you're already recruiting militia. I'm not going to recruit any more. Don't appear in Bavaria. So I'm recruit two units of militia. But two units of line infantry per turn. We don't want to go crazy. And at the same time we want to keep... I really want to try and get them off my back. Because if I can do that. Give them a grand. A cool grand. Nope. Okay, peace, trade, and I'll... I can't... Wait a minute, you've got... You don't have any advanced technology. Okay, what if I... Okay, let's give you a turn's worth of spend. Nope. Bummer. Okay, so maintain the growth here. And... Or maintain the growth of my regular army here. There's no point spending extra money because we won't get any units quicker. Although, actually, I might... Crew two units in Munich, because then we can push them up. So one turn, that'll be four units of infantry recruited to join the frontline army. Down to three grand a turn, which isn't great. Our ministers are pretty good. We've got some good guys in here, but they're not necessarily better than any one of the guys I have. Not there. Turn in turn. 
So now we've got... Eh. Our empire's growing, but that the Hanoverians getting involved really kicked us in the knackers because that meant that, that blunted our advance on Berlin. Austria's retaken Hungary, which is great news. I want to get my spy over to the east to get some views on what's waiting for us um, on the Prussian front. I'm glad Austria's still our ally, so our position at home is relatively safe. Unless the ice screws us over. But as for now, I think we're going to spend a few turns, build up our army, push on Berlin with a larger army of better infantry than they've got. And once we've got squares, that'll really help because then that'll nullify their cavalry. Although their army's fully replenished now, so that's a bit concerning. But I think if they push us, we're going to be in an okay position. Let's get my agent out. Try to see if he can uh, knock out that Hanoverian commander. No, nope, sadly not. Where's my other agent? I suppose he... Well, I should really infiltrate Gdansk. That's the better position. Hmm. I don't like how you're just standing there. Um. Okay, so we've got... This army's getting pretty good. So let's shift, shift our infantry up. We'll take a turn for them to get there. We've got a turn to a square formations built. Get a couple more units of line. Both down here at Munich and up at Dresden. Ah, okay, we go. So that will see us out. Ooh, 800. Ooh. Okay, don't recruit anything. Let these infantry units push up once you guys have replenished. What I really want the oh, they're unfriendly now. Oh, because I tried to kill their general, I see. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Um, once I get square formation, that'll really help. Because then that'll nullify their cavalry. I can't really get any cavalry. The Ordnance Factory gets me 12 pounders, but I don't really need them. Okay, so I might recruit an infantry. One infantry unit in... Okay. Two in Dresden, one in Munich. Push them up, then the next turn, or the turn after that, will be ready. Should get a general as well. But one more turn till we get square formation, that's really good. Our roads are as good as they can be. Let's hit end turn. So I would like to try and engage the Hanoverians in the open field. Draw in whatever Aust whatever Prussian garrison that is, that is available. Which looks like it might not be... Oh god, the Prussians have... The Polish have retaken Hungary. That's not great. Just hold, Austria. Just hold. You don't need to advance. You don't need to do anything. Yeah, Hanover. Hanover's really reinforcing their ally. That's why I really want to... Oh, oh, crap. Okay. So, fingers crossed, Austria backs us rather than our enemies. Hopefully Westphalia doesn't join them. Good. Austria joins us. Right. Okay. Christ crisis, crisis, crisis. Okay. Agent. Get my agent to the town. Okay, you are going to come back. Because that's really not good. You carry on. So we're down to or minus money. Okay, this is not so great. You guys are fully replenished. I might have to attack Hanover just to draw them in with my smaller forces, but we have we have canister shot, we have squares. I get carbines that will unlock some basic cavalry units in terms of Okay, right. Let's see if we can take out their commander this turn. Nope, sadly not. So we've lost trade with Württemberg. That was a real kick in the nuts. Okay. Hmm. We can't, well, no, we can't really trade with many people, so we don't have to worry about too many things. But let's try to see if we can peace out with Britain. Nope. Okay, we've only got Austria. Backing us. That's quite a significant force. 
I mean, that's, we've got a good army, but the trouble is they might mob us. But we do have artillery, and they've got a significant component of cavalry which will die to our squares. But I am tempted to hold... Try to build a unit of... Oh no, I can't build anything, because otherwise we will run out of cash. Uh, can you guys hold the bridge? Okay, I think if they come at us, or they're infantry mercenaries, they're better than what we've got. This is all militia. Okay, okay. So, we've got a commander, plus a load of mercenary infantry, plus some militia units. We'll get a, we will get a fairly big garrison, actually, so they might struggle. Yeah. We will have some line infantry units. If we get some decent artillery, that would help. I don't think we're in a position to get too much support down there either. Artillery would be good, but we need artillery to the north. Okay, I think the goal is... I don't think there is one. That Württemberg is... That really sucks. Peace and trade. Hanover. I mean, they don't like us as well either now, because I've tr tried to kill them. What about... Okay, I don't want to do it, but what about Prussia? Nope. Okay, this is not good at all. I could push to the bridge... Hold them. Holding them at the bridge is probably the better decision. To try and do as much damage as possible. But if you look, actually, the movement the movement is good enough that they could just run around here and hit this bridge as well. And I don't want to split my meager forces up to defend both avenues. Hmm. I think the thing to do is to attack Hanover to at least break one of the jaws against us. Because that's quite a decent army. I think I need to I need to go carbine short term, but I'd like to go military syllabus to get fire by rank. Hmm. <laughs> it's a tricky one. You're not going to be particularly useful out here. We'll actually get you back to Europe. Okay, I think the objective here is to hold. Try and try and hold Munich and see where we're what we're left with. But I think I do need to push against um well first of all actually let's try and crank up my policies. Well, we're a monarchy, so I need to. I need cash, short-term cash. Short-term cash that makes us slightly positive. Do not have a general. Um, I think. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm tempted to wait a turn to see if any of these Austrian troops head this way and see if we could draw them into conflict. Okay, let's hit end turn. Bit of a gamble, because all the while Hanover's just getting stronger. The main concern is now it's going to be Württemberg. Ah, oh, they're sending their troops down back to Hungary. Not great, not great at all. Okay, I think we've lost the strategic advantage against Berlin until we get fire by rank. So now we need to focus on Württemberg. Which means recruiting in Munich. Well, it means we have to hold Munich. They've got a significant number of infantry coming in. We should be able to defend the city. Okay, they're raiding us. So they've interrupted the... Okay, right. <laughs> you dummies! You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for your capital. Oh, no, I can't because I don't have enough arm. I don't have, enough, I don't have a good enough... This would be a ballsy manoeuvre to go for their capital. But if I go for the capital, I lose Munich, because they take it. If I go for the capital and fail... Ah, the potential. The potential! 
I'm fairly sure I can get there in... Well, I can't get there and back in one turn. If I had cavalry, I could do it. I mean, I think I've got to do it, because we'll be roughly equal numbers. i got to go for it, because if I, if I can do it, if I pull this off, this would be brilliant. Garrison line, provincial line, mortars. Got to do it. If I can do this, this would be huge, because then we've killed an army that could really screw with us. Um, so we need to be, well, hope, pray... Because line infantry is no joke. We might have an advantage in bayonets, but this is going to be... This is going to be tough. I'm going to ha I'm not going to want to fight... I'm not going to want to fight in the town. Push up aggressively, isolate and destroy as many of their infantry. Oh, you might have to advance into the town. I don't really want you to. But at least you're my line infantry going into the town. But the idea is my infantry can try and square off with their mortars and try and ease the damage they're going to do to us. while my militia try and roll up their flank. If I pull this off though, that would be great, because then that Württemberg... Oh, I hope I haven't misremembered the campaign map. Because I don't need to win, I just need to make them rout. Actually, I might... You garrison the farmhouse and you stand guard below the farmhouse because you will engage the enemy through the loopholes. They can't shoot at us and it might actually spur them to try and attack our, our line. So you guys are going to advance to fix the centre of their formation and you men are going to push to challenge their flank. If they try and attack us inside the, inside the building, they're going to be in trouble. The main, the main strength is going to be this push around the flank. If you can get the mortars to route, that would be perfect because they're doing they're doing a number on us. Good, the mortars are... Okay, they're, un they're unhappy. Okay. You men push, because that's an infantry unit that's falling back. These two units advance up like so. Come on, 7th Regiment, make them rout. Excellent. So now this unit can get out and engage the 11th. Try and get the surround going. Because their infantry is just better than ours. If you can make the 10th Regiment route, that would be perfect. My line infantry here just has to hold. Especially against the face of the enemy relocating. But we have some potential here to knock out the 10th. If we knock out the 10th, we can then pivot to try and face off against some of these troops here. I mean, you, you guys need to get out of that building rapidly. 
Come on, 10th Regiment. There we go. That's more like it. You men need to keep manoeuvring around the flank. Because you men can both engage the 12th Regiment, who are unhappy... Go on, you men. You, you guys should make ready now. There sh the, it's 11th are shaken. You men are steady. So once they've formed up and filled up some of the gaps, they can begin to pour fire into the enemy position. That's an, uh, still the same unit that's routing, but the 12th Regiment are upset at what's going on. You men may... You're going to hold ground, actually. Engage the 12th. So if you can break the 12th, this unit can pivot and fit, go here. Line infantry units trying to push. You men advance. Good. So you guys pivot here. You men pivot here. Same with you guys. These guys, your unit, your job's, your unit's job is to fire into the flank of the 7th Regiment. We've seen off the 9th Regiment. Stretch you out as wide as you can go to maximise your muskets. So you men open fire on the 7th, who are already wavering. The 10th Regiment are on the flank. Could cause some trouble. But you men have, have a reasonable enough line of sight in the centre here. The 9th have come back. Your job is just to make the 7th Regiment route. Capacity is this building 251. My militia unit's just too big. You're not in the best position. So the armed citizenry are in. Garrison line is still advancing. But the closer they get while they're manoeuvring, they're going to experience more damage. Seventh Regiment are wavering. If they could break, that would be perfect. Because we need to, we need to destroy the men in this sent this left hand pocket, which we can't do until the seventh regiment is conclusively destroyed. There we go. The line. See, so what we what we're wit beginning to witness is what happened to us in the Hanover battle, in that their troops just don't have the strength. They don't have the morale to do what they need to do to stand up to us. So if you guys can route the seventh, I mean the seventh regiment. This regiment of militia is holding on rather well. They're now relocating. Okay, good. Just keep manoeuvring the flank. I'm reluctant to move these guys until the 7th seven, the seventh Regiment is routed. Because this is still a bit tenuous. My line infantry are doing a fantastic job at holding for as long as they have. So we need to start turning that into... Okay, you men advance up to here. You men advance up to here. Getting more musket fire onto that those troops in the centre. This unit should route fairly quickly. Then we can advance our line to surround the firelock arm citizenry more conclusively, although the centre is getting weak. Ah, they're shaken again. There we go, the centre. 
Their position here is routed to you men. Form up in a cohesive line. 10th Regiment is at risk. If they come back, that could still be a, a challenge, but I think it's good for us to form a more cohesive line to maximise our firepower. Go on, 10th Regiment, route. So I want to try and push up against the armed citizenry, but it goes to show just how sturdy line infantry can be. Go on, then they knock out the armed citizenry. It's only the mortar crews that are left. Okay, let's take this militia unit and advance out of the defensive position. Oh, there we go. I'll tell you what, that was risky. But potentially, we have eased off one of the jaws that threatened our little empire. Phew. There we go, so they've been destroyed. We've opened up a border with France, who I immediately want to try and establish good relations with. Can't ally with them, because they are at war with Austria. And that gives us another school, but we don't want it. Well, we do want it, but minus 12 public order. We don't want that. Okay, that's really good news. So now we're about to 1,300, because we get a bit of tax from Stuttgart. Whew. Okay. Now we can carry on as planned, although we can't. Okay, I might start to get, get Heidelberg to research. Try and see if we can research a turn of military syllabus. Coburg needs to be converted into a, well, a, a college fairly soon but I'm glad we got trade with France because then that shows that we're immediately friendly they seem to be okay with fighting against the Dutch which is good for me more Prussian troops are heading east which is good but yeah okay I'm feeling better now we've got a bit of cash we can get some troops to Dresden and or, or, or okay you want an ally I'm going to ally with Sweden because they're allied with France and they're not at war with Austria but they are at war with Hanover, Prussia, Britain lots of people I don't like so in which case yes Sweden and the same with the Maratha Confederacy as well because I'm also enemies with most of those people at least and they're giving me cash so you know I think it's a good idea I mean, it's tempting to blitz that force at Stuttgart. Oh, that's not great. Okay, I might immediately lose all these allies then. I lost the Marathas, but Austria and Sweden joined me because Westphalia can't keep it in their damn pants. So I've lost trade with Sweden. Württemberg sent a letter of demands. Let's exempt them from tax, which isn't ideal, but you've got to do what you got to do. 700 cash next turn, which is nothing. So you guys have to... If you're not... Yeah, I want to keep replenishing. But let's get... Two units of Prushank horse. Because my feeling is... If Westphalia push out of this gap against us, we can... Um capture Cologne and do the same thing as what happened to Westphalia here. I mean, I'm really not happy about this situation. But, damn. I don't think there's a lot else I can do, and really I shouldn't. I should disband one of these Prushank horse recruitments and rebuild my school, because I need to keep replenishing. Can't really afford to stop. And then you, I'd like you to become a craft workshop to try and get a bit more tax. Let's see if now Hanover... I mean, I keep assassinating their generals, so I don't see why that's going to change. Yeah. Hmm. Not a great set of outcomes. 
let's see if uh, Westphalia push west. East, sorry, against me. Because if they do, then my force in uh, Württemberg can strike north. I mean, they might go for Berlin. Well, again, they might do the same thing the Württemberg did. They might go for Munich, and then I can punch, push forward and take out their capital. Yeah, I know what your alliance is worth. Counter offer, I'm going to demand you offer me a cool grand. They're offering carbines. But I'm about to get carbine. Uh, no, I don't want to give you money. I need all my money. Carbines, I'm, I'm not that far off of getting. But money, that's more valuable. I mean, to be honest, I could strike north and take out Hanover. Depends what Westphalia does. Because ultimately, France isn't on my border. Go see what's going on up here. I've got another rake here, so he's going to push up to Hanover. I don't think I can get there in a turn. Nope, I cannot. And if I take it, Bavaria... Well, Westphalia will go... Go, come for me, which is okay. Hmm. It's a poser. I'm going to get carbines just to get the extra... Oh, then again, I can get basic... Well, I can't get much cavalry, actually. Carbines would be good to get me dragoons. You try to take out their general. Nope. Damn. You can't do anything. You're going to build a uh, craft workshop. And can you now tax Württemberg? Well, we might have. Well, the trouble is, we might have had a turn's worth of. Actually, can you. Try sabotage their building to prevent them from recruitment. But. If I can get Stuttgart under, con my, under my control, I might be able to strike north. Ideally, I want Westphalia to create an army and head east. Because then I can go for Cologne. And knock out Westphalia. Yeah, I yeah, Prussia's getting strong, man. I need to. Oh, I need fire by rank. That's what I need. But I need to be careful navigating this quagmire. No movement from Westphalia yet. I think the move to make is to take my militia. F oh, but then again, that means I'm leaving Munich exposed. Just a turn. A turn of peace and trade from someone. I mean, Grant, I, know, I definitely accept I have just been killing all their leaders, so I don't expect great things. But I can't. It's not good. Not good at all. Because Prussia is back at full strength. I'm not at full strength. Dresden is not doing great from a growth perspective. None of my towns are. I can't do much about my policies, which means I might have to start researching. Although you can research four turns to get military syllabus, but I need to get some of these techs, some of these income techs. Okay, so you can get wild dragoons. Oh, in classic form, I can only get them here at Stuttgart. Okay, I might have to get unit of Dragoons. Hmm. If you guys go to here. See if they come at us. If they do, we will withdraw back to Stuttgart. 
but my main goal is can I get within spitting distance of Hanover? Because if I can do that, I can clear out that Hanover stack sat there. So they're doing some sort of weird cooperative defence thing. Uh, oh, good. Thank God, Austria. Yeah, my I, my thinking is, if I can just push into Westphalian territory a bit, and they leave me alone, next turn I can go straight for Hanover, knock out that Hanoverian army, then go after Berlin. Yeah, they've come at us, so let's withdraw. At the very least, it might actually tempt Westphalia to try and do something. Let's get you men into Stuttgart. You. Ah, my agent died. You're going to try and... Oh, did they, have they got recruited a new general? Martin Marks. Try to sabotage their building. Nope. Okay, we are on... We're on fumes right now. And without a... Cessation on some front, we might be done for. But... What I might do is Hanover, peace, trade, and offer... Württemberg. Damn. Right. I don't want uh, Well, to be honest, actually, Hanover's worth more than Dresden. Do I just abandon Dresden and just say, nah? I think I might. But if I go for it, I'm going to go for it. I've got to. They're going to go for... Dresden. I can't really do anything about it, but I think that's what we've got to do. Hanover's worth more, but at least it concentrates my forces to the west, so I can at least then focus on knocking out um, Westphalia. It's, it's not a. It's a series of really crappy decisions you've got to make here. I mean, I should try. I know what I should have done. If, if Hanover get, let me get away with it, I'm gonna. I want to give Dresden to Austria for money. I should have done that. I, I was too too quick off the mark there. Hanover should. Okay, they didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna say Hanover should. Okay, Westphalia done a bit of a switcheroo. Another rake in Württemberg. You also try kill their general. Got him. Because you guys... I mean, if they're going to let us do it, then I'm going to recruit... I can't recruit anything because I've got no money. So I need to squeeze some of these technologies here. And... Oh, that's going to be a dodgy one to try and take. You are going to go try take Hanover. Pull the same trick as we did before. Um, try and take the city. And then that will at least get rid of that Hanover stack sat outside Berlin. It's going to be, a, it's going to be risky, but we've got to do it. At least we've got a good contingent of line infantry. They've got lots of cavalry, but we've got um, square formations now at least. So that should really denued their cavalry offensives. They do have a bit of Prussian support, but I don't think it will make a huge amount of difference. Ideally, actually, I know what I'll, I would like to do is bring them to us. Put my militia between the guns. Let's see if they let's see if they elect to come to us. Because they may decide we have the artillery advantage. And then they'll abandon their mortars. Which would be perfect.
So there's their mortars. Go on, abandon your guns. Here come the Prussians. Again, they've got lots of cavalry, but it's not necessarily something we're that worried about. The idea is my cannons at least have basic arty rounds. And if they come at us... Like that... We send a gendarmerie unit into our flank. Too bad they've elected not to just run straight off the edge of the map right here. Okay, they are, yeah, they're coming. They're, they must be confident then. My artillery's still going... Well, they're firing their howitzers, but I'm pretty darn sure they're out of range. Oh no, sorry, it must have been just a bit of a, a visual glitch. Okay, you guys... Bring in my Prushenk horse. Just run my militia through the line. General's bodyguard out on the flank. Let's try get rid of him. Oh no, he's yeah, he's pushing. Recall the Prushank horse. There we go. The general's coming in. Just give my guns generic orders to bombard the enemy. I want them to come within range of our guns. My left flank is the flank that's a bit less a bit less supported, but at least they do have cavalry. I might actually put the bulk of my cavalry over on the left to compensate for that lack of artillery support. The right flank's got a good amount of support. Regiment of horses charging, that's good news. County militia is on the march. I do like Prussian line infantry. They still haven't got bayonets. Well, at least not anything above plug bayonets. You man, drop into squares. I mean, it looked like, for a horrible moment there, that they can shoot us with howitzers. Make sure the square maintains its integrity. But their regiment of force has gone down to less than 40 men. We've lost about 20 chaps. My guns attack the line infantry that's now running up because they're aware that they can't maintain the bombardment. I think if they would have been in range of their howitzers, they wouldn't move. They would say, nah, we can do it. we're just going to bombard you, but because they're not in range of, the, of their howitzers. Yeah, I get my guys to al already start to proactively engage them with canister shot. Well, they got militia, militia, provincial militia. Firelock armed citizenry, howitzers back here. Got some Prussian guns coming up, but nothing that's going to help them. They are running into our volleys. You men switch to round shot, bombard the first regiment. You men switch to canister shot, bombard the third regiment coming in. My cavalry isn't hidden, but I'm just going to keep them mobile. Okay, there we go. They've got some militia coming back already. I'm 
I'm going to have to commit my cavalry in already. And they're wavering already. If you can make them break and then shatter them, that would be perfect. So you men fire it well off. You men pursue the 17th. Pursue them. Shatter them and make it so they do not enter the field. Then they are good as dead. Pressure regiment of horse is moved onto the field. Bring this unit of Prushank horse back. Push you forward to continue attacking the 16th. The right flank is beginning to falter. Firelock Arm Citizenry might be about to try to get some cheap kills. Get them back, fire it well on, form square, pull the cavalry back. There we go, they know what's about to happen. You men present. Put a volley into the Prussian horse. Cavalry safely recovered behind the lines. Yeah, the 16th Regiment did end up coming back from battle. Switch to round shot, engage the 14th. And switch to round shot, engage the 3rd. If they don't move, they're just going to continue to be shot at. Cannons to shot the garrison line. These units pull back. Preemptively engage, although the Prussians are coming in, so maybe. Eh, line infantry is line infantry. Maybe you focus on the line infantry. The right flank is fairly secure. There you go, that's a blast straight into the centre of the Prussian line. Let's get you near cavalry back over here, because it looks like, don't know why you're doing that. You men, back into line. You should be being engaged by two units. Oh, you're aiming at the 14th as well. Folks fire the men on this in this charge. There we go. The 17th are broken on the flank. The militia are sitting in the defensive position on the flank. Okay, you hit the 16th. You guys blast the 20th. They've also fallen back. They're still not abandoning their howitzers. And they've still got regiment of horse to the rear guarding their guns and another unit of provincial line. are trading here quite a lot. Engage the 21st because they've come back from routing. Even are doing good work against the armed citizenry. Let's push the cavalry out to maybe try to dislodge the 15th. Cavalry here can also go back. You just blast that square full of cannons to shot. Fourteenth of routed. New men pivot to engage the enemy units in the flanks. The militia have abandoned their position, so we're going to push up our cavalry to make sure that they fall.
the man switch to round shot and begin just bombarding the second regiment to the rear. Oh no, come on, you men charge the militia. You guys advance. So you just knock out those guns, there's still that cavalry unit which could be a bit dodgy. The first regiment should go down. Okay, you're going to engage that infantry unit to the rear because this is going to have to be a infantry fight now. Let's commit our line. You also hit the garrison militia. Not the best cavalry, being only skirmish or mercenary cavalry. Okay, good. The first regiment are broken again. Oh, that wrong. Good job I managed to save that click. Oh, you haven't lost that many men, actually. I suppose they haven't got much. Um, without bayonets, they haven't really got that much melee attack. 21st Regiment's coming back, so I want to send my cavalry forward to knock out the mortars to make it safer for the rest of my army to advance. I'm not so bothered about anything else, it's just knocking out those mortars to make sure that they don't cause ongoing issues. Let's try to get a few more kills from the 15th. There you go, they're shattered. So let's bring forward our cavalry. The enemy regiment of horse doesn't want to commit. Enemy 21st are lingering. So let's just bombard them with our artillery. Got a few good kills actually back here. Okay, I think they've observed cavalry push so the weaker unit run forward the stronger unit oh actually they should, uh, they should both focus on the regiment of horse and destroy them while they can if I piece, send them off one at a time piecemeal then they won't ever they wouldn't ever win I mean, they are mercenary cavalry, but we do outnumber the Regiment of Force significantly, and they might start to get upset from the artillery that's being dropped on them. Yeah, they're going down. The Regiment of Force are very upset. Well, they were. We're still technically winning. They're going down fast now. Because it started raining, we've started to get sound problems. Don't worry, there's not, there's not particularly long left to go with this action. There we go. Kill a last handful of regiment of horse. Good. Run forward to attack the guns. A component of my line advance forward to chase down the enemy. And let's speed up time a little bit. So you men attack the mortars, then they'll run along and attack the artillery. We do want to kill the artillery as well, as best as we can. The mortars we're not so worried about. But the mortar, the, the artillery is a Prussian unit that will still exist on the campaign map. Try to charge our cavalry into the flank of the enemy cavalry, because they may rout fairly quick. Yeah, there they go. Good stuff. So with that victory, we have captured Hanover. That army, that Prussian army is retreated. The Hanoverians are gone. We can repair the city. We can make them not pay any tax. 
we're up to 400 but i think we could that opens us up to potentially trade with denmark trade with denmark we have no ports trade with the united provinces they don't like us but let's trade so that gets us up to 1800 which means we could stand to crank down our policies 1500 now I mean then they're, they're really not going to be happy with us for a long time I want to see if we can get a temporary peace and trade with Prussia nope damn but at least if Westphalia if this army marches east then we can jump onto Cologne and try and destroy the Westphalian force as it advances into Bavarian territory. The French are advancing on to the United Provinces, and that's fine. I have no intention of getting into, involved into any scrap with the United Provinces. I like that they attack Cologne. I like that a lot, because that might mean that that Cologne, the, the Westphalia force, may have to pull back. Oh, they're going to offer me money! Good! I need cash. We, I am more than willing to accept cash for your alliance. As soon as we get a can get a port constructed, yeah, they're running straight for Dresden. So we need to run on to um, Westphalia's homeland, which we can. So this army, can you infiltrate to Cologne? We've got physiocracy. Hanover doesn't like us very much. The army itself is currently here. Oh, you got spotted, did you? Oh. But they got they got hammered. The garrison will still be fresh. You seem to be aware of that. Uh, it's worth the push, though. Württemberg probably still won't like us. Minus three. I will recruit a Dragoon unit to stay here, because that will impact, that will have a better impact more than the Bawdy House will. Maybe two Dragoons. No, just the one. You men can advance and put Cologne under siege, just to see what we're up against. You're not a bad army. And again, Hanover is needs to be exempt. Well, to be honest, Hanover's going to rebel, but I will take it as a temporary cessation of hostilities. So you're now almost at full strength with decent cavalry units to attack the city. Hanover's minus nine. You're going to recruit a cavalry unit or two Dragoon units as well in an attempt to try and keep them on side. Are you unhappy about industrialization? No, it's not industrialization. A port in 23 turns will be done. Yeah, they're trying they're gonna go for Dresden. So this action needs to happen to do the same thing to Westphalia as we've done to Württemberg and to Hanover. So right now we're at plus nine hundred. We need to try and start sending out units to try and re um placate our territories so we can tax them and once we've done this it's not necessarily in a better position because you've got a big front line now with two major powers but two major powers that are at war with each other and then we can focus on trying to take berlin and also you need to stop this you need to go down the military syllabus route to get fire by ranks once you get fire by rank things get a lot better um but we're going to go for cologne a good chunk of their forces are already depleted. It's only the garrison itself that's in good nick. Ours are a bit depleted, but I did bring over, deliberately bring over my strongest units. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault on Cologne. Cheers, everyone.